Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. p.m. and I'm hungry again. I eat dining dummy around can I even remember probably eleven o'clock because I'm not sure it's up to two hours since I ate. But let's say eleven past eleven, and that's one thing with eating indomie. It gives me this sour taste in the mouth. Not sour, but there is this feeling I get after eating indomie, and that's why I took tea with tea though, thinking the tea will help. I think the tea even made it worse. This little snack, <laughs> but it's our own. So let me just snack on it and get ready to go pick him from school because his dad traveled. He's supposed to come back today, but he just called that he's not sure he'll be done before Neto's dismissal. So it's looking like I'll be the one to pick him up. After this, I'll just take a shower, have my bath, and head out. So yeah guys if you're a business owner especially if you do online business try to make your means of delivery very easy and convenient so there's this lady that i got to know recently so she sells clothes i decided to get a gown a booboo like gown from her just like a free gown it's like booboo we'll call it booboo sha i decided to buy it from her I made payment on I think that Saturday or Sunday and she said she was going to send it to me on Monday. Um throughout Monday she did not talk, talk to me, she doesn't send me any message, she did not call me. I just intentionally kept quiet because Mondays usually sit at home. So I was like she that promised to Monday, I don't know how she was planning to do it, but I didn't just bother sending her any message. Tuesday week, she still did not send me any message. Though. I was still the one that now sent her a message on WhatsApp about like be what's up. And I said, oh, that she's sorry, she wanted to call me. Oh. Je, 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 je. There must always be a story now. That the cloth has not even reached. That the cloth is in, I don't know whether she said or where I be on my hair. I don't know for her that she ordered them newly. But when I paid for it, though, she didn't tell me it was pre order. I felt like she had the item with her. So she now told me the clothes was in that way wear all my hair, one of those. And it was going to get in that day. And when it gets in, she'll call me. 
this was around let's say 2 p.m i said okay i went offline i didn't check my whatsapp till like nine ish in the night because i was really busy that day that's on tuesday i was very busy so i didn't have time to go online check my whatsapp messages and all of that i went online by nine uh, only for me to see that she sent me a message by six saying that the item has gotten when will i pick it up i was not like and i remembered when she said when the item comes in she was going to call me so probably she had called me by that six maybe and i was not at home so it would have been very easy for me to just go and pick it up but she didn't call me she just dropped the message on whatsapp and i, I saw the message around nine i didn't even bother replying her this morning i just asked her today is wednesday yesterday was tuesday so i now asked her um do you have a rider she now said no i was not wondering who does online business without having a rider how are you going to be delivering your items to your customers will you, your customers be coming to your house and be picking it up like it didn't make sense to me she now said no she does not have that do i have i'm like how why will i have a rider i don't have an online business <laughs> and i thought i don't have so how do i she now asked me so what do we do in my head i'm like you are the one that's supposed to be bringing solutions not me you're supposed to be bringing solutions to the problem it's a different thing that you're telling me um this is how it will be done and i'm like no i i can't work with it that way do you understand but she's not asking me what i want to be done she now called me on whatsapp like what's that call I was like, eh, hey, that she dropped. No, uh -uh. even before the call, she had already told me that she dropped it at a guy's shop. I don't know if she said it's her brother, be who. At a guy's shop. And the place she kept it is quite far from my house. That she said she's not even around. I said, oh, my clothes has entered my hand. I don't even know who the person is. She now said, eh, hey, do I have anybody that can go there and pick it up? So in my head, I'm like, all this why she has been asking me what is the solution do i what will i do about it she has already concluded that that was where she would drop the clothes and i will have to go there and pick it up As i saw the message that she was not even around i didn't bother responding to her about two hours ago she now called me on whatsapp called that how far what are we going to do and i thought that one is i don't send my help to distant places she doesn't even know that place the place is quite far so i can't even send chino so to go there and that place is very rowdy it's close to the market a big market itself she said the guy sells something around there so i can't even send chino so i mean myself i can't go there because like i said that place is always rowdy crowded with people it's the place is market all these um, shoe plaza that they make shoes you know about made shoes all those places that's where she said she dropped it so i can't go there myself but in my head i'm like who does business like this now my clothes is in a man's shop paraventure i don't pick it up today it's going to stay there who knows how well he kept it and where he kept it and what if i want to pick it tomorrow and he doesn't open up like and she, she was not telling me that and uh, she's calling me so that i can pick it up early before the guy will close like do you get <laughs> i don't want to vex but i'm like you will not say i do not support your business right i have supported your business and i don't know if there will be a next time but i'm just glad that i have supported you and i have patronized you so however way <laughs> i end up getting my clothes i'm going to show you guys the clothes let me even see if it's worth all the stress it's not stressing me because i really do not put it in my mind I've just told myself anytime i get the gown fine if i get it before sunday and it's nice enough i'll go to church on sunday because i really want to go to church i've missed going to church that's just it <laughs> there's nobody at home i'm alone in the house so there's nobody for me to discuss the problem i just said let me talk to you guys <laughs> i'll shout out to you guys later let me not bore you people with my let me not bore you people with my Story. just came back from school had a shower hey guys what's up how are you guys doing so today is saturday and i'm excited because my mom is on her way to come and stock up my house because you know <laughs> once i'm pregnant my mom does not allow me to cook she loves to come and 
you know, bulk hook different types of soup so that I can just be warming it. She will make soup, make stew. It's just easier for me to, you know, purple rice, spaghetti, unless I want to make something different, maybe jello fries or porridge, yeah, porridge plant, and all those ones are quite easy. So she's in the market, she's actually on her way. She called me now that she's very close by. I'm excited because my house is about to be stuck up with food. <laughs> my soups are finished. The last badge she cooked are finished. And my mom loves to bulk cook. I don't know where she got her energy from. When she wants to cook, she likes to bulk cook. So I think she's making four soups today. And what I did was I made sure to parboil to cook the meat. Thankfully, we had meat already in the house in the freezer. So let me show you guys. This is what the season inside. Hopefully, this one is a novel. But yeah, you have a lot of meat inside here. Just to make things faster because you know meat takes time. So once she comes in now, she and she also just start prepping and cooking. And then I also blended crayfish and pepper for her. But it's in the freezer. I put it back in the fridge because it was making here yeah, smell crayfish, crayfish. And the smell was irritating me. So I had to cover it up and put it back in the fridge. So when she comes now, we'll take it out. But I want to fly. Let's say fly. <laughs> I want to fry plantain now. I have a bunch of plantain here. I have this plantain here that, as you can see, we are getting a lot of ripe ones. So let me fry and eat before she will start cooking. Because this food will not be now we go chop up. <laughs> see my freezer is almost empty. Just meat, meat, meat. It's let it empty. I feel that it should be so full. So thankfully she'll cook now and everywhere will be filled up. Just meat that is here everywhere. Just meat. That's why I'm praying that that one that I cooked to be enough. And then we have this honor. Oh, have you guys eaten honor before? What's this? Okay, this is the crayfish. This is the crayfish. Let me bring it out now since she's on her way already. You can see how big the crayfish is. That's to tell you that this soup is gonna be a lot, even though far. So yeah, but she also put too much water in this too. <laughs> it's not looking like a fish again. She put too much water when blending it. But anyways, hi, <laughs> welcome. Mm -hmm. Hey, so. Let's eat fried plantain before food is get ready. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll finish somebody's somebody's daughter and baby. <laughs> One soup is down and ready. Be staring now, so it'll be fine. Complete your chip. Is this Obono and Okra, right? Yes. So guys, these are the other soups that was cooked. I had to struggle to confirm this because they were done really late at night. This is bitter leaf soup. And this other one is Okazi soup that was made with very light egusi. Just very light. Try this soup, you'll enjoy it. And then um, Afan soup which came out in large quantity. I'm so happy. At least it's going to last. Then the last soup is the ofaku which is looking a bit light but the more you warm it up it's going to thicken up anyways guys bye